Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm doing a mukbang. So I got Japanese, uh, it's like a ramen place, like they're known for ramen. I got this thing called a bao bun, it's basically like, I'll show you, but it's like a white bun. And I got deep fried chicken in it, and like mayo and stuff, and it's like the best. Um, and I also got beef stir fry, and yeah, I'm just like so basic. But anyway... This is such an exciting video because I am collaborating with the Udi. So if you guys haven't heard of them, I'll put their website here. I will like screen record and everything and you'll see what it looks like. But they have such a great selection of these massive like blanket hoodies. Like they are so comfortable. I'm filming this not on a good day because it is 25 degrees outside. And for us here in Australia, that is warm. Especially because we just came out of winter. It's been like 15 max. So... It's quite warm, but I have a day off and I'm finally able to film this and I'm so excited. I love this so much. You don't understand. Like, it's just like, I'm one of those people that even like when it's like kind of cold, I will chuck on trackies and a hoodie and then I'm still cold. And then I will put on like a blanket around me and I'll just walk around the house like that. But with this, like you don't have to do that. And that's such like a big thing for me. I love to feel comfortable and like be able to do stuff. So when I'm holding like the blanket around me when I'm lying down, I can't use my phone. I can't do anything. I can't eat. But in this, you can eat, relax and just be warm. Yeah, so we're going to eat. And I'm going to just chat. I am sitting so low to the ground. Okay, so. Oh my God, they actually gave me cutlery. I didn't even ask for it. Okay, I don't know how to use chopsticks. I'm sorry. They gave me napkins. I bought my own napkins up here. Oh my God. So this is the bao bun here. I'm gonna spill this. Oh, it's so warm. Oh my God, it's massive. Holy crap. They gave me a spoon. Lucky I bought a fork upstairs. So, this is my tiny little mukbang, but it's actually like got so much in here. It's so heavy. I'm confused. Is it soup? No, it's stir fry. So, this is going to stink out my room, but this is what the stir fry looks like. Um, it has just like heaps of veggies, like really, like kind of thickish noodles. And beef i got beef because i got chicken in the bao bun you know what is so funny about being on youtube just obviously like not even like anywhere near as big as like other people so this is like what the bao bun looks like has the deep fried chicken in and mayo and it came with like a little side salad i don't know what dressing they put on this side salad but it is like one of the best salads i've ever had in my life i'm gonna put the lid on this so it doesn't get cold while i talk so much Mm. This is the first thing I'm eating today. Also, the bad thing about this bun is that it gets stuck in your teeth. so good okay what was i saying i don't even know oh yeah this is the first thing i'm eating today it's like 12 o'clock and i am not mad about it I also will have a discount code down below about the Udi. You get $35 off if you use Bianca35. I'll just put it all in the description box below and like link link it. But yeah, that is yours to enjoy. They are so worth it. Honestly, like your ultimate comfort outfit
Like, who even eats a side salad? But the dressing they put on it is so good. I am so scared for summer. I'm like a massive winter person. I'm already over it. I just hate like feeling so uncomfortable and like so warm. Anyway, it's so funny because whenever someone is like, oh my god, haha, I've seen like your videos on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I get so awkward and I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. And like, I never want to talk about it for a long time because I don't know if they're making fun of me or they're actually like being genuine. Because most of my videos are like quite, they're not embarrassing. Not, not for me, I guess, but I know they're kind of just like, me eating <laughs> me just like talking i don't know i don't know why everyone thinks it's like so bizarre because so many people are doing it these days i wanted to talk about i know this has been like a big topic on my um channel not a big topic but like something that i've spoken about quite a bit and it is fake people and fake friends and if you've heard me speak about this every other time you're probably like oh my god can you shut up but like i always think oh my god thank god that's over like if i've had a fight like things like spark my anxiety i am such an anxious person you've probably heard me say that like 50 times but i am and i don't know what it is i just think too much And it's something that I really need to stop or like take hold of because when I think I'm getting better, something else happens and I'm like, oh my God, like it's not a big deal to me when I first think about it. And then I think about it 20 times and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, like this is all I can think about. I'm not here for that. This food is so good. I literally had to clean my whole desk for this. This was like full of stuff and I had to move it like forward so I could sit down because like a lot of the time when I've done like a mukbang or whatever, you can't even see the food. I'm literally just holding it up when I'm taking a bite or something. And I know a lot of people just want to see the food. And also mukbangs are dying down, which I'm kind of happy about because I was sick of seeing them everywhere. Um, and I'm sure people were sick of seeing me do them and everything. Um, I still really enjoy watching them. Like, if there's food that I'm interested about. Like, I'm addicted to seeing people eat Taco Bell. Because they're opening some in Melbourne soon. I just love seeing people eat it. Even though I know I'll probably get sick from it. I don't care. I'm still going to try it. I don't know what else to talk about. It's Halloween soon. Have any, like I'm working Halloween day and like I work till seven. So I'm working Halloween night basically. And I'm so unhappy about it. One of my must-watch movies for Halloween is Hocus Pocus. So, if I watch that, I'll be okay. At least. Um, yeah, I'm sick of, like, people making you feel bad for, like, having a life and... Not staying exactly the same as you were, like, last year. Oh, I am 
I'm not here for people whining about things like that. It's like people literally change every single day and I've changed within the space of a year. Like that was inevitable. In <laughs> what? That was inevitable. So I don't, I don't get it. Like you should be worried about your life. Like just focus on you. You have like, I don't know. So, beautiful world of Jeffree Star. I'm pretty sure. Well, I am pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, Shane Dawson's new series with Jeffree Star. I'm excited to see when they bring up all of the stuff that happened with like James Charles because I kind of like was a bit mumble jumbled with everything like that. Like I didn't really watch like every video between Tati and James and stuff like that. So I don't really know like what happened. I'm just excited to see like their point of view anyway. I have not filmed one of these videos in such a long time. I don't even know what to do. There was this thing that I saw the other day and I posted on my Instagram story for like two seconds. And it was like, if someone's absence brings you peace, then you didn't lose them. And that is like the perfect thing because... You can be so close with people and then they'll do something like that and you just feel like this sort of like relief inside you and you're like, wow, I feel so much better. Thank you for doing that. Because sometimes you hold on to things just because of the length of time you've had them, like people and things um, and memories and things like that. And then you like, they kind of go away and you don't miss them and you don't think about them. And it's just like bliss. It's so good. And it's like another step towards peace in your life. But then another thing happens and you're like, wow, thanks so much. That didn't last for long. I am like halfway through this and I'm kind of starting to get full. I am so happy ASMR has like died because that stuff was so annoying. Like even my favorite people that I watch on YouTube we bring out all these ASMR videos and the, probably the only person I watched that did like some ASMR things was Shane Dawson because kind of made fun of it but other people were like taking it kind of like jokey but kind of seriously and it was just so overdone I was like oh my god can you just stop buying those like big microphones and doing all that stuff it's just so annoying I need to stop there. I know my brother will eat the rest of this, so I'm going to give that to him. Um, he was like, are there going to be any leftovers? And I was like, F off. <laughs> I'm hungry. But now I'm halfway through, like kind of like three quarters through. And I am full to the brim. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you want to see from me next because I'm always open to ideas. Any like food videos you want me to do, tell me and I'll do them for you. I'll get fat for you. Yeah, I hope you guys do go and check out these Udi's because they are the best. I will leave the description code down below and also a link to the website. Um, and enjoy it because they are the best things ever. Even as a gift or something, they have like such cool designs. I would have already put that somewhere here or like at the start where I was explaining. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Love you lots. See you later. Goodbye.